It's Go Fast Day here in Homestead Miami Speedway. Welcome everyone to back to the Sunoco Royale. This is qualifying uh, for the actual event, the Sunoco Royale, uh, here in Florida. Uh, we have gotten done with the duels and we are starting qualifying here. It will be two round qualifying. Top 12 will go through this round. And that top 12 will fight for pull. The rest of them will line up as they will be seen in the order. As you can already see here, Jackson changing schemes. This is his uh, throwback scheme for the Royale. Uh, as he will be driving his Dunkin' Donuts scheme once again that we have not seen since last season. He's been driving his peak scheme ever since, but he's back with his Dunkin' Donuts scheme for this race as a throwback to previous seasons when he was on uh, Full Frontal Motorsports. As you can see, Pit Lane is full as everyone's getting through inspection. 15 minutes on the clock as everyone's going to start to attempt making times. Uh, Jackson's time is not fully official. That's a 45 second time, that's not an official time. You need to wait for him to get around this time. He has to run it a little wide to get around these uh, slower cars, which is not going to help his time. But Jackson going to, or Jackson's going to put up the second time in the session as Roman Rahal, where is he? Roman Rahal put up the first time, 28-8, uh, and then Jackson retaliates with a 28-7 early here. They'll have 15 minutes to get into the top 12. Your practice winner. Lorenzo Log out here. Uh, he now sits P3. He was very fast in practice. We'll have to see if, if Lorenzo Log can get anywhere with this. You can see things are already shaken up. Lorenzo Log setting a new time, but it's still Jackson out front. Everyone's starting to pull out of pit lane now. But it's Jackson and Paulson, your top two. They're right next to each other. These are the fastest two guys on truck. Now Ray Hall goes up to second. As Jackson improves his time a little bit, but not going to gain position because he's already in first. <laughs> Roush sits fourth currently. Remember, this isn't for points. This is for glory. So they're just out here trying to become the Royale champion. It still counts as a win, though, so that is something. Look at Jackson with a run down the inside of Roush, trying to get a better time, trying to set him up for a long run, and he will. 28-1-3-7. We expect the times to get really tight near the end, but Jackson sets the top time early as Jack Halleck now sets the second fastest time out of 28-2-75. As far as through the field, I, we can see Windhelm taking the top spot as he currently sits P7. Windhelm has shown so much speed this season. He's shown he's one of the best, and he won his uh, he won his duel back in duel two. So it's up to uh, Hans Windhelm to get it done, though. He has no draft, though. You need a decent draft through here. Sec but it's Jackson now in second as Halleck takes the top spot. They're expecting that they break into the 27s in this session. It could be a possibility as we're seeing 28 ones. Uh, in practice, your top time was at 28028, uh, if I'm correct. So we could very well see that happening. There's your reigning Circle Royal champion pulling into the pits. We don't have too many one-offs in the official race. Dan Bartlett being one of them for Trailblazer. Uh, you got Dan Bartlett, you got Chris Louvier, now pulling into the pits in P9. Very good for Louvier. Who else? Let's look good back for, uh, Joey Manico. There he is. Joey Manico. He is, uh, one off in this Royale. Who else do, is there anyone else? Just those three? I thought there was one other. There might be, I may just be mistaken here. 
I see Adam Vinson just went up to second as Halleck breaks into the 28 zeros. Paulson's here. You don't really need to worry about getting first in the session. All you need to worry about is getting into that top 12. But right now, though, it's all Jack Halleck in this session. Because right now, your top 12, Halleck, Vincent, Jackson, Paulson, Anderson, Ray Hall, uh, Mulcher, Fitzwater, Caldwell, Louvier, Duncan, and Hurley is your top 12. As we continue on in this session, nine minutes to go. Some people we could expect getting through aren't even that close to getting through. Angel, Rose, decently close. But yeah, there's a few guys that we could see getting up that they're just not there right now. Uh, Fingai is in though. Bowers is not. Art is not. Kuznetsov is not. Monaco we could see getting in. But right now, Halleck is leading. And there goes Halleck. Dives into the pits. Halleck is in for now. Looks like he's going to maybe go in set up for one more run at the end. That's usually what we saw in practice is we usually saw them go into the pits, take a few moments of rest, let the car rest, and when they got back out, they were a little bit faster than they were in their first run. So we may see Halleck improve. Who else is going to follow that pattern? Jackson will. Looks like Jackson's going to go into the pits and set up for one last run later. Everyone else, though, wants to stay out and continue to run laps. People still run decently fast when they're still when they stay out, but the people who come in and reset to the end, those are the people who usually jump. Paulson is in P2. Kuznetsov will join that pack. Who dive in? But Paulson now P2. No one else has broken the 28 zeros though. This is pack of uh, people who are advancing. And you got Vincent back there as well. Four people in a row who are advancing through. Hurley, now not in that spot. It's now Halleck, Paulson, Vincent, Caldwell, Jackson, Finguy, Roush, Anderson, Rahal, Manico. Uh, that's Mulcher and Fitzwater rounding out your top 12. Those are the transfer spots. Some people need to pick up the pace if they want the transfer spot. Some of the people we could have seen getting those transfers aren't there yet. Saying yet because you don't know what can happen in qualifying. Jackson returns the track. Halleck is still in the pits. Jackson did not take time to rest. He just got new tires it looked like. Maybe a little bit of rest, but Halleck is really resting the car, getting it ready. Halleck may be getting ready to go into the 27s. Maybe that's what he's going for. But Jackson is now out on track. We'll see what Jackson can do. This is going to be the real test for the people who are wondering if this strategy will work. Is Paul Jackson right here. He just needs to get up to speed, get these new tires up to pace. He may be in. Halleck now jumps out. Yeah, now the true test begins when Mulcher dives. Jackson getting up the speed. Getting help with the, from the two Red Stallions. Red Stallion, for their first time, I think, ever, all of their drivers have qualified for the Royale. Johnson, Baranowskas, and Ray Hall are all going to be in this Royale. So good job for them. But Jackson and... Johnson Jackson just getting that draft and slingshotting around Skyla Johnson could this be a good time yes it is he breaks into the zeros that should be the ticket for everyone to dive down pit lane 
That's what everyone was looking for. That ticket to see if this strategy would work. And Jackson says so. And that's Angel to the top. Where did Sean Angel come from? He was one of the people who was in pit lane a little while back. So this is working. This should be a sign for everyone to turn down, but they may not have the time to do it anymore. Now there's two Red Stallion in the top 12. They could be getting a few people into Q uh, Q2. The final qualifying. If Halleck wants to retaliate, he needs to get that draft with Louvier, uh, Shepard, and Dunbar. Congratulations with Dunbar making the Royale as well. The rookie getting in his first season. I don't think he even appeared in the last Royale. But he's going to be making an appearance here in this one. Halleck, not up to speed yet. These people don't have the time to jump down pit lane, so they're just going to have to work with what they got. Bartlett's improving. He's 21st now. He just needs a little bit more. I see Skyla Johnson. I think Skyla Johnson just jumped again. Yeah. Her and Jackson are really working together. They got this chemistry between them going on that's really working. And they're setting some real fast times. As now Jackson... No, neither of them are going to set a good time this time around. We're looking. Is anyone setting a good time now? Or are they starting to run out of steam? Three minutes to go. Windhelm starting to improve. He just needs a better draft and he can get up into this top 12. This may be the draft he's looking for. It's with Stukol. Windhelm, P9 in points. Some of the absolute... One of the most absolute fastest guys out on track. You'll see. Windhelm is one of the very best he's shown this season. In a rank C, he has been able to get in top 10 in points. At the halfway point in the season, I think this is a first for a rank C to get into the top 10 in points. And Windhelm going to dunk down the inside of Stukol. He really needs a run. Roe may be the help. He may need to drop back. But right now, it's Sean Angel leading Q1 over Halleck, Jackson, Paulson, Vincent, Caldwell, Rausch, Johnson, Finn Guy, Duncan, Scott, and Hurley. So Philip Scott's now in the top 12. He's had a pretty bad season, so this could be the turnaround. If he can get into Q2, that's going to be a confidence booster. But one minute, one and a half minutes may not seem like a lot, but it's a lot of time to these people. It could mean the difference between one, uh, getting in the top 12 and not. Anyone could jump here. Keep an eye out. Hurley still holds on. We may not see that 27 get pulled. Johnson and Scott don't really seem to be in a panic. Or, whoa, Johnson and Jackson don't seem, seem to be that much in a rush anymore. They seem to have the pace uh, they needed, and they look like they're going to make it through. I think I saw someone else jump. That's William Brock. Brock's in the top 12 now. He's jumped to P5, and he's in. He's done for the session. He's done what he needed to do. Coming down to 30 seconds to go in this session, and some people still don't have the spot they need. A lot of people don't. Philip Scott on the bubble. If he wants to stay in this session, he's got to pray that no one else grabs the spot or that he's able to grab a few more everyone's starting their last lap it looks like can Caldwell make it to the line and get one more lap yes he will 
So that means Lorenzo Log comes around and makes his final lap. He'll not, he's not gonna improve. Jackson, Johnson, Kuznetsov, we're still seeing no improvements. Finn guy to the top. Jeffrey Finn guy in the last moments of the session jumps to P1. And it looks like Finn guy will take Q1. Yes, he will. The end of the session comes. It's Finn guy. Angel, Halleck, Jackson, Paulson, Brock, Vincent, Caldwell, Roush, Johnson, Duncan, and Philip Scott will round out your top 12 for Monarch Motorsports. Windhelm didn't make it. Anderson didn't make it. A lot of people didn't make it. Fitzwater didn't make it. Rowe didn't make it. But here it is. Is There's your top 12 that's going to make it through Driver. in into Q2 as they're already setting up to get into Q2. There's your top 12. We'll see you in a moment when Q2 begins. It'll be a five minute session for those top 12 to make up the best time they can. And welcome back everybody. This is Q2. Your final qualifying session. The top 12 from the last round are here once again to try and get through for pole position. As we already see Paul Jackson pulling out of the pits. He was P4 in the first session. So we'll see. Can Paul Jackson get pole position? There it, there everyone is. It's actually been changed to 10 minute session. Uh, they actually changed it because they thought that five minutes was not going to be enough for them to set a full time. So they have 10 minutes out there to pull it off. Still waiting for a lot of people. Skyler Johnson, the biggest shock of the qualifying session. The rank D for Red Stallion made it through the Q2. There's Sean Angel getting in now. He gets through inspection. Everyone had to get through inspection again. Make sure all their cars are good. Jack Halleck out on track. He almost won the session. Of key. He almost won Q1, but then Sean Angel took it, and then Finn Guy took it from all of them. So Jeffrey Finn guy, the one to watch here in Q2. Jack Halleck. What can he do? Skyla Johnson's out now. As Jackson sets the very first time of the session to 29.008. Not too quick yet. No one has any drafting clock knows. Angel's out. Duncan's out. Alec gets a little bit faster than Jackson, just barely. Caldwell a little bit slower. And Jackson comes back around to set another lap. 28-8. He's back to the top. Roush and Paulson both out. Championship rivals. Brock is out. Philip Scott is out. Finn Guy is the last one on pit lane. Everyone's setting another time. Caldwell to the top now. 28710. Finn guy, the last one to get out on track. All 10 or 12. All 12 are out on track now. Skyla Johnson, her first time. Very impressive at 288. Two tenths faster than the others the first time. Jackson back to the top. Halleck back to the top. Caldwell gets a little jump. Paulson and Roush, though, these two could be ones to watch as well. Very big title contenders right here. And as they come around the final corner, Jack Halleck has the big has the best time. Paulson and Roush set their times now. Angel to P2. Where's Sean Angel? Did we miss him? We did. We did. Sean Angel up to P4 now as Caldwell to the top. Vance Caldwell. Now Skyla Johnson to the top. Skyla Johnson for Red Stallion Racing. Halleck goes back up. Caldwell back to the top. It rotates back to Caldwell. 
Finn guy is the worst time out of everyone right now. Finn guy needs to step it up. But Caldwell has a draft with Brock, and that's the difference right now. Johnson improves. Does not improve position. Actually, she did improve position. Er, is that Halk who improved? I may have just misread that. Halk and P3. Duncan, P4, making it a Maverick. 3-4. Scott in P8. He's being impressive for Monarch. Jackson has no drafting partner. Johnson's in. I don't think you'll have time to get back out there. I'm not sure. She won't have that much time to cool it down. But Angel improves. He's up to P5. Paulson leading this little pack. Give me a little bigger, a little bit bigger of a push. But Vance Caldwell, currently your pole sitter. Can he hold on? Thing guy up to P6. 28-4. He's all on his own and he's pulling these times. Angel to the top again. Sean Angel. Gets cracks into the 28 ones in this session. Like I said, we doubt anyone's actually going to get into the uh, 28, 28, uh, the 27s, the 27 nines. Doubt that that's going to happen. It could. But now these guys are all stacking in as Halleck now has the top time. Everyone's scrambling. Put in times. Is Skyville Johnson going to get out there? How long is it going to take her? That can mean the difference between pole position. Angel and Halleck fight on track for track position now. Who wants to be the one tailing Roush? Neither of them! Roush is in! Oh, I don't think you'll have enough time to get back out there, Roush. Everyone's trying, though. They're trying this strategy. Right now at the bottom is Jackson. Jackson does not have the speed he needs. Still, P12 is going to be very strong for him. Bingo, P9. Right now, it's Halleck and Angel. One and two. Maverick and Trailblazer. Trailblazer has stacked up three wins during Royale uh, main events. Now that the only way you can get a win in the Royale is the overall. We're not sure if they can get it, but Halleck... Not how uh, an angel wants to make that four for them though. He's trying to fight for full position and get him a good advantage at the start of the Royale. Brock up to P3 with a 28206 with two and a half uh two minutes 50 seconds to go in the session. I am very disoriented right now. And it, that's Skyla Johnson back out on track. P5 now. Could she line up with Jeffrey Finn guy? If those two can tail together, they may be able to get pole position, one of them. But Skyla Johnson getting back up to speed. He's a little pack here. We could see Caldwell jump back up with this. He's got a draft from both directions. Not yet. Angel and Halleck have reconnected with Roush. Once again, it's a fight to see who gets to be behind Roush, who gets to tail him and use his draft. And it's gonna be Angel. Can Angel put up a time to fight with Halleck? Not yet. If at all. One and a half minutes on the clock. Finn guy with Johnson now. Finn guy gets ahead of Johnson. Johnson's going to be able to tag right behind him. And Finn guy and Johnson are now tagged together. They have a minute left on the clock. 
Can either of these two pull it off? Your Q1 winner, Jeffrey Finn guy. Can he pull off pole position in Homestead? Got a little bit of a push from Skyla Johnson and Skyla Johnson's gonna close back. They're seesawing, trying to gain speed. And they are, they're gaining speed quick. They just need to set one good time together. An eye on them. Looking through, anyone else have a pack? Right here, this could be the pack that gets pole position. We could see an improvement on time between these guys, but they're fighting a little too hard right now. Fingai and Johnson aren't close enough to get a big draft going. But Fingai improves. Fingai is now in P7. Ahead of his teammate, Scott Roush. They may start on row four together. They don't have their teammate Jovic with them. Or Tristan Wilhoy who fell out in the duels. Finn guy continues to improve. This will be his last lap. Not gonna get there. Johnson isn't. Vincent will not. Here is the pack. Can Angel improve? No. Angel won't get there. Brock won't get there. And with Jackson right here, he will end the session. P12. So Jack Halleck will take pole position for the Royale with Sean Angel on his outside. Congratulations. Let's go look at your top 12. Just so Jack Halleck gets pole position in uh, the Royale. Sean Angel, William Brock, Vance Caldwell, Skylar Johnson, will qualify in the top five for Red Stallion Racing. That's very impressive. William Duncan, Jeffrey Finguy, your Q1 winner. Scott Roush will make a uh, Roush Racing Enterprises row four. Adam Vincent, Philip Scott rounds out the top 10. Then it's Paulson and Jackson rounding out your top 12 as Jackson gets last in Q2. But still, P12 starting position is very nice for him as he will have a nice advantage over the over the rest of the pack behind. Let's see if we can read that off for you. You also got Hurley, 13th. Anderson is 14th. Uh, 15th is Mulcher. 16th is Rahal. 17th is Rowe. 18th is Manico. 19th is Shepard. 20th is Fitzwater. 21st is Bowers. 22nd is Louvier. 23rd is Windhelm. 24th is Bartlett. 25th is Monaco. 26th is Dunbar, 27th is Arndt, 28th is Carlson Jr., 29th is Stukol, 30th is Log, 31st is Kuznetsov, 32nd is Baranowskis, and rounding out the field for the Royale will be Nick Pericles in 33rd. Congratulations, Jack Halleck, getting pole position in Homestead. We will see you in Main Event 1 next time. Ciao.